to the Mike Douglas Show. Join us as Mike meets the magician. Mike's co-host is Mark Wilson. Supplying the mystery and magic will be Harry Blackstone, Jr. Now, here's the star of our show, Mike Douglas. We have a very special show planned for you today. I want you to come with me to the wonderful world of magic. We're going to explore all its mystery and fascination, and you're going to meet some of the best magicians and illusionists in the whole world. I'd like to introduce our first mystifying guest who just made me appear out of thin air. He was the first magician to star in his own national TV series called The Magic Land of Alakazam. And he was elected Magician of the Year by the Academy of Arts not once, but twice. How about a welcome for Mark Wilson? Mark Wilson! <laughs> nice. Kids of all ages, Mark, love magic. How old is magic? Well, we say magic is very, well, it's, it's older than men. It's like the second oldest profession, you know. Now, would you show me in this viewing audience how you made me appear from that box? All right. That's a large thing. Would you like to learn that trick? I'd love to it's learn It's a that handy trick. thing to know, okay? Yeah. Listen, would you bring out the box? Especially if you're married, it's nice to know this trick. I know some of you ladies like to make your husband disappear at times, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. yes. All right, here's the box. Now you see, you kind of, kind of wave your hand back here, like that. And it's always nice if you have music behind a big, oh. big thing like this. See, it gives an atmosphere. Now you have to turn it around. See, this shows that it's empty. Like that. So everybody can see there's nobody on the back. Come on, let's go around. Keep going? Yeah. Okay. Now we cover it with a cloth. Let's see. This goes here. You can take... Uh, there we go. Okay. So this goes back like that. This goes over the front. Now the box is covered, okay? Right. Now take it and turn it around again. Okay, just like so. Okay. Uh, now you have to learn how to make a magical gesture like this, okay? If you make the gesture, do it one more time. Now, big. I'll pull the fob away. Lovely wife, Nani. Mark's wife, Nani. We'll be right back. Who can resist the fresh flavors that fill the Zapata taco? You're gonna fall in love. How can you resist the fascinating taste of a Zapata enchilada? You're gonna fall in love. Because Zapata takes good and hearty rice and beans, chiles and cheese, beef, lettuce, tomatoes, and serves them to you in such fresh and fascinating ways, it's inevitable. You're gonna fall in love. Taste it once. You'll be back, amigo. Target's dollar sale. Wow, Target's cut prices on over 200 everyday things, like Kleenex napkins and high-dry paper towels. Lots of pretty colors. Five packages of towels for $2, and five packages of napkins for $2. And a great price on Pennzoil, two quarts for $1. At Target, you buy more, you save more. Now, back to Target for a second load. This is George McKenzie, sports director here at KMSP Channel 9, inviting you to be with us Sunday at 5.30 for the Minnesota Kicks Soccer Show. I'll be your host, along with Kicks coach Freddie Goodwin, for half an hour of features, highlights, and interviews with players from the newest pro sports franchise in the Twin Cities. 
Join us for the Minnesota Kicks Soccer Show, Sunday at 5.30 here on KMSP-TV Channel 9. Do you want to do something really great, like saving a life? Well, you can by donating a unit of blood at your local blood bank and helping to prevent the shortage of blood this summer. The blood supply in the Twin Cities is historically low during the summer months because of vacations, summer fun, and apathy. It takes less than an hour to give the gift of life straight from the heart. In Minneapolis, call War Memorial Blood Bank, 871-3300. In St. Paul, call the Red Cross, 291-6789. We're exploring the mystifying world of magic and illusion today. Now, what we just saw, what you, you called an illusion. That's right. Explain what an illusion is. An illusion is a large trick that employs a person in addition to the magician. Okay? Mm -hmm. As opposed to the smaller tricks, such as sleight of hand. And then there's one thing that comes in the middle, it's called parlor magic. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's an illusion, an illusion despite the size of the person. If you, you, you use a dwarf, it's still an illusion. Mm -hmm. I'm, yes. I'm being facetious. That's right. Yeah, no, that's right, no. But an, an illusion in magical terminology is a bigger trick. I see. Okay? Okay, you're going to show us some sleight of hand tricks. Right. But I know that you need some help, and I'd like to introduce uh, one of the youngest magicians I know, who just happens to be this man's son, and his son is Greg Wilson. Let's welcome Greg. Here he is. <laughs> How, how old are you, Greg? I'm uh, 11. Do you like what you do? Yeah, it's fun. And how long have you been doing it? Uh, since I was four. And it's especially fun for you because you're doing it with your dad, right? Yeah. And your mom. Yeah. That's marvelous. You want to do this when you grow older? Mm-hmm. That's nice. Okay, what are you going to show us? Is this an illusion or, or a uh, sleight of hand? This is a little sleight of, of hand. Okay. okay. Now, this is a trick with things that I play with, like a marble, okay? I take the marble, place it in my hand, squeeze it, disappears, and goes to my pocket. Now, another strange thing about this marble is if I pull on it, it turns into two marbles. Now, if I take the larger of the two marbles, which I think is this one, a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. If I pull on it, it turns into two marbles. Now you have three marbles. All right. Now if I take the smaller of all the marbles, this one, put it in my hand, squeeze it, disappears, it goes to my pocket. That's how you lose your marbles. <laughs> <laughs> right. Couldn't wait for that line. <laughs> Thought it would ne the opening would never come. Go ahead, Greg. Now I'll put the first one in my hand, second one in my hand, the third one I'll put in my pocket. Now, how many marbles do I have? You in have my two hand? in your hand. Right, but the one left my pocket and went to my hand. That means that I've got three. Three. Hmm. Three. Right. Second one in my hand. Okay. First one, the second one. Now remember, I put two in my hand. Right. I put the third one in my pocket. Now how many in my hand? Two. <laughs> two. Mark. Greg. Right. I mean, oh, the one left my pocket and went to my hand. You can't keep that one in your pocket, can you? <laughs> Money do the same thing to you? Jump right out of your pocket? I'll try that again, okay? Give you first one, second one, third one. Goes in my pocket. Now, how many marbles are in my hand? <laughs> Two. <laughs> <laughs> Terrific. I think I'll have to go on the road. I'm a good foil for you, right? I don't know where you get it, huh? What is this four aces thing good. that's going to happen now? Okay, well, next? I'll do a sleight of hand thing for you now, okay? This is a trick with, with just a regular pack of cards. So, all right? And what we have to have are the four aces. Now, the reason I like this trick, particularly for television, is because it just uses the four cards. Mm -hmm. Okay? And they're just regular cards. One, two, three, four. Right. Now, would you hold your hand out for me, Mike? Good. Now, watch. I'm going to take one of the cards. I'll take the Ace of Diamonds. Fine. Okay? I put that here. Good. Now, that leaves me with one, two, three cards. 
and it will take the ace of hearts and place it on top of the ace of diamonds. Okay? Right, right. Now there are three parts to this trick. The first part is where I make the ace of hearts change places with the ace of diamonds. It's changed places. The second and harder part is where I make the ace of hearts come back to its original position and the ace of diamonds go back where it was before, underneath. Fantastic. <laughs> The third and hardest part is where I make the ace of diamonds and the ace of hearts come over to my hand, like that. And I make an ace of myself. <laughs> ah, the two black ones. How about that? Uh, well, I think... Teach me one of those. I oh. think it's only fair if we teach you a trick, right? Here comes Greg. Here comes, yep, here he comes again. All right. He found his marbles. Now, this is, a, this is a trick. You can all do this at home, and Mike, you'll enjoy this. Look, take one of these paper napkins, right. okay? And you have to really, because we're gonna show you how to tear a napkin up and put it back together again. Now, since no one can actually do that, you have to take the first napkin and roll it up into a little ball, like this, and place it right here in your hand, like so. Now, that is called, technically, palming. Oh, yes, I forgot. Do you have a half dollar? You must have a half dollar, okay? As I told you about. You got a half dollar. Yeah. Okay. Put that, that in your pocket. Back okay? in the same pocket? Back in the pocket, right. Now take. Do I have, you have a feeling I'm going to be empty when yes. this is over. Oh, I got mine. Okay, look. Here, take a napkin. Yes. All right. Now open the napkin up, like so. Okay? You have yours already open. I'll open mine up. Okay, now you've got a regular napkin here. You've got the torn pieces secretly held in this hand, right? Right. No, okay. Torn pieces. No, I didn't tear it up. Pieces. I just I mean, the regular pieces. Yes. Yeah, the regular pieces. Yeah. Okay. They're going to be torn pieces in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now, you take the napkin and you tear it in two like this. Okay? Technically, this is known as tearing the napkin in two. <laughs> Story of my life, folks. <laughs> Want to write your name in it? Or? Did you uh, give me the same kind of napkin you had? <laughs> okay. Good. That's what, just tear it up like so. Good. Don't Beautiful. worry, boy. It's going to be torn. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, I Good. was so neat Ta -da. about that. Uh, uh, Wonderful. I hate to say this, Mike, but you're supposed to tear it again. Oh, tear it again? Yes, uh huh. Beautiful. <laughs> so. Okay. This is really going well for me, isn't yes. it, Mike? Whole new career. It's called Cozy. being a dummy. Okay. Are you? All right. It's not working enough. out for me. Well, what look. are you laughing at me for, Greg? <laughs> look, take the torn pieces. Yes. And roll them up into a ball. Right. Okay. Uh, thank goodness. Yes. <laughs> that I can handle. Right. Now, place the torn pieces over at the tips of your fingers like this, okay? Over here. Over here. Right. Got it. And you still got the extra napkin down here. Right. And the torn okay. pieces here. Right. Now, here comes the dirty work, see? Because you reach in your pocket and you get the half dollar. Now, while you do that, take the torn pieces at the top and move them down to the bottom and move the whole napkin up to the top. Okay. Beautiful. Yes. Wave the half dollar. Okay. Say, I hope this works. I hope this works. Uh -huh. All right. Put the half dollar away. Right. Now, all you have to do, you see, is you open up the napkin. You doing it too, Greg? Yep. Good. Okay. And you show that it's restored. Hmm? <laughs> it worked. <laughs> now. Very good. Yes. Now, there's one thing. There's one weakness to this. Yeah, this napkin. This one here. This is the yeah, part here. Yeah, that's the weak. The, torn, the yes. torn pieces. Now, when that happens, if somebody should happen to see this, see, you know, get a flash of it, right? Right. Okay, just go like that. That's it. Now then take those pieces and open them up. And you will be amazed to find that those pieces are also restored just the way that they were before you. napkins. Why don't you go and practice? Yes, and I will. I think okay. for about an hour. Okay. Yeah. Be right back. Here comes a biggie, folks. This is one. This is an illusion that uh, 
It's only been performed once before on television on one of our magic circus shows, and here it comes. It's the world's largest card trick. Some music, please.
blindfolded some experts to test new Kool-Aid Tropical Punch flavor against the leading can punch. I like this one better because it tastes so good. It's fantastic. It was superb, and that means excellent. New Kool-Aid Tropical Punch flavor. Most kids like its taste even better than the leading can punch, and it costs a lot less. Kool-Aid brand soft drink mix in the delicious new Tropical Punch flavor. And it tasted like wow. <laughs> There are monsters everywhere. In Loch Ness, a 24-mile-long bottomless lake in the highlands of Scotland, it's a creature known as the Loch Ness Monster. In the Himalayas, a towering mountain range on the Asian frontier, it's the monster known as the Abominable Snowman. And in the forests of America, a beautiful wilderness stretching for thousands of square miles, it's called Bigfoot. Now comes a motion picture that shows you actual footage of these and other monsters. Proof that there are giant creatures living among us. A startling look into man's encounters with the unknown. Based on the best-selling book that is astounding millions, don't miss The Mysterious Monsters. Shocking because it's true. From Sun Classic Pictures, Rated G. Coming soon to a theater near you. See your newspaper for theaters and showtimes. He just got a mind of his own. He's going to take plenty of time, all right. Question is, will he bring in that much better price? You're not going to sell him with that bunch of crows, are you? Mr. Barkley, we are in the business of selling horses as well as cattle. Well, that's just what I mean. This will be one you want to keep. He'll make you one of the finest working cow ponies in the country. Watch Fess Parker and Diane Highland in Smoky Saturday evening at 10.30 here on KMSP 9. I hope you're all bewitched, bothered, and even bewildered as we explore the mysterious world of magic. You know, some families play tennis, fish, or watch television together, but the Mark Wilson family is more imaginative. They do magic together. Here are Greg and Mark Wilson. Here it comes, watch.
right back. in an intimate social situation where you need strong, dependable breath protection. Wow. The Binaka Blast for instant fresh breath. Anytime, anywhere. Now also in new cinnamon. This is Free Dent, the great tasting chewing gum that won't stick to most dental work. You run into a lot of problems on a job like this. Well, one problem I don't have is chewing gum sticking to my dental work. That's since I started chewing Freedent. Freedent's great. No sticking at all. And chewing Freedent makes my mouth and my breath feel fresh. And that's important to me, too. Thanks. I don't have a sticking problem. I chew it because I like the way it tastes. Feel free to chew Freedent. Freedent in the bright blue pack from Wrigley's won't stick to most dental work. Buy a Whopper. And get a Neiman. Buy a cheeseburger. And get a Neiman. Buy any sandwich at Burger King from now till August 5th. And you'll get a free sports print created especially for Burger King by Leroy Neiman, the world famous sports artist. There's track, swimming, gymnastics, and basketball. Every week you get a different print, free. So have it your way. And get a Neiman, free. Have it your way, Burger King. Have it your way, have it your way. <laughs> Hi, this is Jeff Edwards. The new treasure hunt always means fun and excitement. Take a look. $25,000! Jeff Edwards offers big prizes and $25,000 on the new treasure hunt, 6.30 tonight here on KMSP 9. something out to this studio audience and you viewers out there there's no trickery here no trick camera work and there's nothing in the background back there these are just flats hanging there they're not people aren't disappearing into secret passageways or anything this is all legit it's fantastic real magic well that last trick was wow this is something you're very proud of right mark right yes took you how long to put this together two years of writing and it's available yes to the it's, public? A, it's available by mail right yeah. How many photographs did you tell me? Well, already? we took 50,000 photographs, and we edited those down to oh, um, about 2,600 line drawings that are in the book. So if someone really wants to learn magic, you know, if you're really serious about it, this course is the way. And you say by mail. How? How do they, do they write you? Or yeah, what? they can write to, uh, did you, did you, you can name your post office box, and ours is named Magic. Oh, that's yeah, wonderful. In North Hollywood, California. Mark Wilson, Magic. North Hollywood, California. And now for something completely different. Now, you've seen them on the Donnie and Marie TV show where, where they created a laugh riot. Here is the Warsaw Wizard, Poland's finest, the great Tomasini and company. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Ladies, gentlemen. <laughs> In the way of encore, I would perform for you. <laughs> for some of you. <laughs> One of the classics in magic. I call this one of the classics in magic. <laughs> it's also known as the famed Babushkas of Warsaw. Oh, no. <laughs> How did you two get separated? <laughs> the famed Babushkas of Warsaw. What did you expect from a Polish magician, a rabbit? <laughs> the great Tomasoni! Tomasoni! I take a break. <laughs> You sell the brim at these Olympics. You get busy like the beaver. Everybody loves a brim. Only brim decaffeinated coffee has been chosen the official coffee of the 1976 Olympic Games. Me too. I love the brim. It's got some great ground flavor. Here they come. Okay, kid. Here we go again. Brim with great ground flavor and decaffeinated too. Who's next for the brim? It's the Olympic coffee. Plain meat and plain potatoes make for a plain meal. So when my budget calls for a plain meat, I dress it up with Betty Crocker au gratin potatoes. Tender slices of real russet potato and a golden smooth cheddar sauce, rich and tangy. So good with Frankfurter's hamburger or chicken. Great meal, Mom. Take a plain meat and make the whole meal not so plain with Betty Crocker au gratin potatoes, one of five plain meat potatoes from Betty Crocker. Target's dollar sale. Wow, Target's cut prices on over 200 everyday things, like these great absorbent overnight pampers, only one dollar. Kodak Color Film for Instamatics, one dollar. And seven boxes of Kleenex tissues for three dollars. And a great price on Pennzoil, two quarts for one dollar. At Target, you buy more, you save more. Now, back to Target for a second load.
Thrill to science fiction extraordinaire with Martin Landau and Barbara Bain in Space 1999 Friday evening right after the Late Night Rookies here on KMSP9. Great Tomasoni is currently appearing at the Latin Casino in this area in the Foley's Bourgeois, and what a great act. I Thank thoroughly you very enjoyed. much. <laughs> <laughs> this next gentleman is a magician who has applied his art in live demonstrations, television specials, and most recently film. Here's our good friend Harry Blackstone. <laughs> Something that I know many of our friends have seen before, but I bet, Mark, in all the years since you were a little boy back in San Antonio, as he right. was telling me, you have not been part of this. So I'm going to invite all of you to help me with this bird in a cage, a canary. Okay. And while you're watching here, the canary will disappear right from the tips of my fingers. Now, Mike, you put one hand right up on the front of the cage. And, uh, Mark, would you put your hand on top? Good. And, Tomsoni, on the bottom of the cage, of course. <laughs> you always get the good one. And uh, would you put your other hand on the other side of the cage? That's fine. I wonder if Walter Blaney got started this way. You put your other hand up on the other side. No, switch right. hands, Mark. You won't be all out of shape then. <laughs> You've just completed a very magical task for our friends at SeaWorld, haven't you? Yes, as a matter of fact. Saw a couple fact, of our um, dear friends out there. Yeah, uh, Bob Laporte and... Uh, and George Yoakum. George Yoakum, and of course, George used to be part of your show years ago. Uh -huh. So yeah. did Bob Laporte. And uh, we've been doing a, a, an interesting thing of magic in a water ski show. That's quite a challenge for an yeah. outdoor show. As a matter of fact, we brought you some film. If you have a minute, do you have a minute? We put it up on sure. there if we had we some time. It. I'd like you to see this because we've used the characters. Here they are, all of the superheroes out of the comic books. That's the Joker Superman. about to do that. And we got Superman and Wonder Woman and Batman and Robin. And this was actually the second day of rehearsals that we filmed there just a few days, a few hours ago, in fact. It was yesterday at about noon. And uh, there we've cut uh, Mary Marvel in half on that side. And we're about to cut Batgirl. That's uh, Commissioner Gordon's niece, if you remember the comic strip. And the Joker has done his evil deed. Here's an illusion that you might get a kick out of. The cat girl gets into this uh, little house here. We call it the, um, no, I guess we can't call it that. Uh, it's, uh, what it is really is a cupola where she is inside of there. And I'm explaining to the, uh, the thugs who are part of the evil uh, members of the, of the comic book group and the picture of the Joker. Now she is inside of that and Batman is frozen in the background on his boat by the evil Mr. Cool. And uh, Catgirl says that she's not going to be captured and then the young fellow who plays the host in there comes over and she disappears right before your very eyes. And we thought that might be kind of interesting for us. And no phone calls. Can you do, can you do anything with me? You saw how oh, it worked yes. with Mark in the uh, beginning. You were marvelous. I can if, uh, you know, you've been doing some things here, Mark and, and uh, John, where we've done some things here. I brought along one special bit. Have you ever been levitated? <laughs> no, I must no, tell that's the only my thing? friends yes, I have. that, uh, actually, Mike, you know nothing about what we're going no, to do. I have, I've and I'd like idea. you to come over here into my office for a second. Uh, Amazing how you do a quick check when somebody yes. asks you a question. <laughs> yes. I think now, once in the sit right down over here, my wife, Gay, is going to help Hi, me Gay. in Hi. levitating. Would you mind sitting down right over here for just a right second? Right over here, yeah. That's fine. Now, are you comfortable? Yes. Yes, I'd like you to lie down right on here, if you will, please. Just lie right down on here so that you put your head on this. Whoop, there oh. we go. That's fine. That's, are you comfortable? Yes. It's a little fairly hard. comfortable. It's a little yes. hard there. Here, I'll... Oh, pillow for his head. Yeah, just lift right, your that's head wonderful. up. That's fine. Can I leave a call? Yes, leave a call. Wonderful. Are you comfortable now? Yes, fine. Now, what we want to do to make sure as soon as you become lighter than air, we want to make sure that you don't float up too quickly. So I'll put this right on across here to kind of lock you in Hot here. dog, the diet paid off. Yes. <laughs> I must say that you are looking great since the last time uh, I saw you. I've lost about four or five pounds myself, but now that we're working steady, I hope to get it back. <laughs> so, uh, would you put your hands right on there? Right now, on like there. that. Yeah. Now, 
We've gotten you this far on the pretext of levitation, but in fact, that's not what we're going to do. Oh, good. Guess I wasn't mm -hmm. Because if we can have that. a little music now, something like, I saw you last night and got that old feeling. <laughs> Careful, it is sharp indeed. And I'm going to now attempt, and I say attempt, to do what you've been wanting to do for years, and that is be two places at once. <laughs> I can hear my wife now. She'll say, I'll probably get the end that eats. <laughs> now, one other thing, though, that I want to do. Um, we usually, in performing this sort of operation, if you will, often use hypnotism. Please don't use the word operation. Well, we use hypnotism in order to stop the flow of blood. And if that doesn't work, if that doesn't work, we have brought with us this as an eventuality, and uh, we'll have this ready right here. Are you ready? I think so. All right. Now, would you... Uh, this end has come out. Well, we can't have that happen. He's lo floating already. You, so, you, scared, you scared me to death when you said that end has come out. Right. <laughs> All right. After Thomas Oni's bit, I... Uh, <laughs> and here we go, right through here. Lock you right into that, like there. There. Would you put your hands right up on top Surely. there? Surely. Let's look Any at last words? I do everything he asks. You've always wanted to be the host of a game show or of a daytime show, haven't you, Harry? Yeah. <laughs> How does that feel? How about that? Right through the bus. Now, one thing, did you feel it? Didn't feel a thing. Didn't feel a thing. No. That's because of the hypnotism. Did you realize that you were actually hypnotized? No, I didn't. You didn't. We well, see, that's what happened. And not only that, but you see, the interesting thing about all of this is that in, in this sort of thing, we can also, uh, here, if you'll just lift your hand just a little bit right there. That's fine. There. Right there. Now, oh, wait a minute. I forgot one thing. I shouldn't have done the hypnotism there because you tend to heal too quickly. Uh, well, uh, wait a minute. Let me start over. Uh, what's the matter? I felt something from big back here. Oh, you healed? Yes. Oh, Lord. I don't know what to do now. What now, Harry? Um, well, wait a second. Let me, let me start over here. Let me remove this part right here. If you'll hold that. And uh, sit up a second and just put your feet sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Now, incidentally. Yes, go right ahead and sit right up. And we'll take this right up here with you. Here. Yeah, right up here. That's, I'm, I'm sorry. No, and one, one little caution, if you would, please. As you put your hands down carefully, and do put your hands down carefully, for the next 30 minutes, don't drink anything at all. <laughs> <laughs> Be right back. Harry Blackstone. <laughs> Here's another great buy at the Furniture Barn. Sofa, love seat, and chair, just $388. The big three cushion sofa, a matching two cushion love seat. And you get the chair, too, in a tough Herculon with decorator straps. Bedroom and dining room in oak, pine, walnut, and pecan in many styles at big reductions. And there's more. Five and seven piece dinettes, including lots of beautiful new styles. It's all part of the big clearance sale that's going on right now at the Furniture Barn. Okay, Buster, yeah. wake up. Mm. You think the tooth fairy can work when your leaky faucet keeps your kid up? Well, I'm going to fix it. Well, fix it with a Delta or Delex washerless faucet. Delta one-handle and Delex two-handle faucets last and last and last because they don't have old-fashioned compression washers. Call your plumber and get a Delta or Delex washerless faucet. And don't forget to brush your teeth. You can believe in Delta and Delex washerless faucets. Sinus pain. It usually hits you in the morning. A wave of sinus pressure, surging sinus pain. 
If you're not getting the kind of relief you want, discover Extra Strength Sinus Pain Formula, new from Dristan, the sinus medicine experts. Drains all sinus cavities, reduces sinus pressure, relieves sinus pain, and has an extra drying agent the leading sinus tablets don't have. Extra Strength Sinus Pain Formula, from the makers of Dristan. Everyone knows that kids love hot dogs, so Arthur Treacher's come up with the best idea in hot dogs since the ballpark. Let go of that, you little urchin. Introducing the Crunch Pup. Ah, tasty old beef wiener in a stick with a delicious crunchy coating. Made from an old secret recipe. Good, huh, Sonny? Hello. I'll talk with your mouth for it. Bring your kitties to Arthur Treacher's for a new Crunch Pup. And I'll take the original fish and chips to go. We recently did a, a week of shows with David Soule, who was mm -hmm. Hutch on Starsky and Hutch, and he said his partner was doing a film called Houdini, and I know The Great you, Houdini. The Great yeah, Houdini. It's being done for uh, this Halloween. It'll be on ABC, and uh, has to do with a whole survey of his career. Sally Struthers, incidentally, who sends her best to you, is playing Mrs. Houdini. Oh, that's wonderful. And it's going to be a marvelous cast, and it is not a comedy by any means, even though they have some wonderful, great comic people like uh, Jack Carter and... Uh, um, they have, uh, as the part of Hardeen, uh, Jack Carter. And I'm trying to think what the lady's name is that plays Mrs. Houdini. Ruth, Ruth Gordon. Ruth Gordon. Ruth and Gordon. you're in it, aren't you? Yes, I play a small part where I lock uh, Starsky up and uh, turn him into, uh, well, into a little hutch is what it is. That I put him <laughs> <in>. <laughs> do Sorry, a little, but... do one of Houdini's tricks for us. Would you? All right. Classic uh, tricks. This is, this is actually one that he developed with a man by the name of Harry Keller and was done about the turn of the century. I need, as Houdini often did, to invite several folks from the audience to help me as a committee. Now, uh, let me see, how about the gentleman there with the skeptical look on his face? I wonder, would you mind helping me a moment, sir? And the young man next to him, and how about this gentleman? And the young fellow with his hand up, unless you want to leave the room. <laughs> no, all right, fine. Are you busy? Would you help me, if you please? Gentlemen, let's make a relatively straight line out of it right along here for just a moment. And stand right here. Would you stand over here? Straight line meaning facing out toward this way. And the young man that's coming up here, you stand on the end right over here. Nice straight line, gentlemen, if you will, please. Straight line. Tanch, hut! That's better. That's way we have them in, in line. Now, we're going to use a persuader. Bring out a piece of rope. We're about to hang a man here. Tell you what, a rope trick. I'd like you to take one end of this piece of rope and stand right over there, if you will, please. And uh, are you busy? No, no, no. You're not. Busy. You drag yourself out, take the other end, and stand over this way. Gentlemen, pull on this piece of rope to show the audience that it's real rope, not rubber or elastic, correct? Fine. We're going to do a rope trick. <laughs> I'd like you to stand right there. That's it. I'd like you to drop the end of the rope. Now, did you examine the end of the rope? You'll find on each end there is a piece of tape which is to keep the rope from unraveling. Other than that, do you find anything at all on the end of the rope? Anything there? Do you find anything at all? Look at it. Looks fine. Looks fine. All right, nothing on one end of the rope. Around the rope right there. Hold on to it. Don't let go of it. Nothing on one end and nothing on the other end. I know your mother will be glad to hear that. Would you drop the end? Drop it. the end. Now we begin by placing into the center of this rope a knot, into which I place my left hand, my left wrist. And as I do so, may I give you the end of the rope and you the opposite end. And gentlemen, please pull it tightly and firmly around my wrist. That's fine. No, good. Now, one hand is securely tied. Let me see, the young man right up here. I'm going to have you check me and see how long it will take me to get out of this particular rope. Yes. Would you gentlemen hold back that way, step back a half a pace, that's fine, good. Now, would you, do you have a sweep second hand on your watch? Yes, sir. Would you look at your sweep second hand if you will, please? Now, wait, what? Wait, wait. <laughs> What's the matter? My watch is going. <laughs> wait, 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 hold, 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 just a second. What do you mean your watch is gone? You mean you had a watch? Right. <laughs> he lost his watch! <laughs> 
Oh, here. Oh, no, that's just a leather band. Where do you keep your watch, usually? Uh, usually in my right hand. Well, maybe you put it in your pocket when you were washing your hands, huh? <laughs> no, you don't wash your hands. I see. No. All right, well, check, check in this side pocket right over here. See if you can Can't seem to find his watch around anywhere. I can't imagine what happened. <laughs> no, nothing right there. Check on the other side. Not there either. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, I always carry an extra watch with me in just such an emergency. There's a very nice watch. You can use that. Wait, that is a nice watch. That's my watch. Oh, I thought maybe not. I found it on your wrist. You see, I got that from you just a moment before I got your wallet on your back. <laughs> Look at all that money. Where do you work, the Federal Reserve? <laughs> That's fine, you stand on this side for a moment. I'll put my hand right back in here as we were doing. Now pull it tightly. Young man, step over this way now and feel that. No, this young man here with the red tie, you check it and make sure that feels good and tight. Very tight. Does that feel tight? Feels tight. It does. Feels have you tight. ever felt that tight? <laughs> <laughs> Never have. All right, now gentlemen, drop the hands for a moment. I'm going to place my two hands and wrists together in a manner like that, and as I do so, would you please tie both hands securely together and do it behind my back, but out here where the audience may watch you. That's fine. Each of you, and I'd like you to come over this way and check and make sure... They're tying me up! <laughs> okay, each of you take an end. No, each of you take an end and, and pull. Take an end and pull. The end, you horse thief, it's marked with black <laughs> jerk on it. I said pull. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Just let's get a little conclusion here. You know the difference between a pull and a jerk? <laughs> All right, now, he was the pull. <laughs> yeah, tie it up again, good and tight. That's fine. Tie it. Once, once you let him do it alone, then I'll have a pair of wrists left. You drop it in. Uh, tie, tie one more, if you will, please. Go ahead and tie it. Go ahead and tie it. Good and tight, any way you want to, I don't care. That's fine. Tie it. It's tied. <laughs> oh. Easy. Whoa. Wait. Well, now my, <clears throat> now my hands have been tied most securely, as you can see. But I'm a